Educational organizations feel the need to integrate and use technology effectively if they want to accomplish their main goal, teaching the students to become part of a complex, interconnected, and ever-changing world. Moreover, the role technology and digital content play in educational innovation is becoming more and more relevant. However, when we tackle this challenge, we tend to focus on teaching and learning processes when, in fact, there are many other aspects in educational organizations where technology comes into play, from issues related to resource management to those dealing with the staff professional development or with the management of the interactions that take place within the community. To facilitate the use of technology in all the fields of intervention of educational organizations, the Joint Research Centre, JRC Seville, of the European Commission has developed a comprehensive and generic conceptual framework. We are referring to the European Framework for Digitally Competent or Educational Organizations, a model for digital organizational capacity with the overall aim of facilitating the transparency and means of comparison among the different European initiatives of digital transformation in educational organizations. From the perspective of educational organizations, this framework offers the guidelines to steer the self-reflection process needed to make progress towards a broad integration and effective implementation of technology for learning. The European Framework for Digitally Competent Educational Organizations portrays all the aspects needed in the systematic implementation of learning in digital contexts by means of seven key elements grouped into three dimensions for change in an educational organization. The three dimensions the framework refers to are the pedagogical dimension that includes aspects related to the teaching and learning practice, to the curricular content and to the assessment practices. The organizational dimension that includes leadership and governance practices, professional development and collaboration and networking. Finally, the technological dimension, which refers to issues dealing with digital and physical infrastructures. These seven key elements will develop through 15 sub-elements common to all education sectors. Besides, the framework leaves the door open for new elements and sub-elements specific for each education sector. The course Digitally Competent Educational Organizations, offered by the Instituto Nacional de Tecnologías Educativas y Formación del Profesorado, was created with the goal of facilitating processes of analysis and transformation of our educational organizations. My name is Miguel Hernaiz, and together with Almudena Vicente Franqueira, we'll guide you throughout this training proposal. In this course, we will present DigComp.org, the European Framework of Reference published by the Joint Research Centre of the European Commission in Seville. Through it, we will be able to analyze the state of the art when it comes to the use of technology in our educational organization, as well as design and launch a process for change in our organizations. Throughout the course, we will work in a connected way using several formal and informal spaces that will allow for the exchange of ideas, reflections and resources regarding the digital transformation of educational organizations. Our aim is to extend the conversation on the effective use of technology in educational organizations, building narratives that will help other organizations in this process of transformation to reach their goal. If you want to transform your educational organization into a digitally competent organization, or if you are just interested in a deeper understanding of the European framework, DICCOMO, published by JRC of the European Commission for the Promotion of an Effective Learning in the Digital Age, this course is just for you. Join us!